Hello everybody and welcome back to Chibi Robo. So, things are getting a little bit uh, serious now in the Sanderson household. Uh, the mom has officially just been like, I'm done, and has locked herself in her room because the dad just keeps buying toys, willy nilly. So that's cool. I think I'm gonna buy the hot rod now. And yeah, I'm gonna buy the hot rod now. And I could buy the space scrambler, but I'm gonna hold off on that for a little bit. Sweet hot rod. I still really wish that it was like a Stuart Little car that you could just drive around. That would be so cool, but no, you could, it's literally you only pull it out for a single mini game. Anyhow, Jenny's not here and the dad's also not here. They are in the foyer. Oh, look! Look who decided to track his muddy paw prints over the house! It's not Jenny, it's not the dad, it's not the mom, it's Tao. No cleaning bonuses. The mom is just like, uh-uh, nope, no cleaning bonuses. I'm done. <laughs> I spend too much money on this robot maid anyways. Jenny, what are we gonna do? Your mom is... You know things are bad when the, the dad is like, Oh, eight-year-old daughter, what are we going to do about this bad, serious situation? Oh boy, they're all standing up too. What should we do, Jenny? Mom is, er, uh, uh... Ribbit, ribbit. Huh? Wait, that's it! I can look through these slats! That's my smart girl! Ribbit, I saw Chibi Rubble open them last night. It's no use, kiddo! My face is too big! I can't see inside! I mean, you don't... Really? That's not how that works. You can still see inside. Ribbit. Give me a hand, Jenny! Ribbit. I've got it! Chibi Robo! She locked herself in the bedroom. I was there last night. I'm a little worried about her. I need to see what's going on in there. I can't see through the slats. But I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. She's not mad at you, even though you cost a lot of money to keep electrocuted. <laughs> electrocuted, no, powered up. <laughs> Man, it's like they, they get this little robot like made and like it's solving all their problems for them. Dang, I want one of those. Can you help me out? Yes, I'll help you out, boy. What's happening, Jenny? Uh oh, this isn't good. She barricaded herself in there. Tao, I've been cleaning up after you a lot lately. Go check on my wife and see what she's up to. Say you'll do it, I'm begging you here. And he puts us up there for us. You gotta help me out. Thanks, Dad. Oh boy, this isn't good. No, not the frogs. I wanted the chibi captain. Oh, the mom is actually sitting in one of these comfortable soup chairs. What is it, Chibo? Is something wrong? Um, well, yeah, this isn't exactly a very healthy thing to do. Oh! My husband must have sent you in here. Hmm. Oh well, it's not your fault. But let me tell you something. He's not getting off the hook until he's sorry for what he did. Chibo, could you give my husband this letter? Yes, I will. That's quite the envelope. 
Thank you, Chibo. He has to understand. I just remembered a dream I had. You were picking up garbage around the house. That actually happened, though. <laughs> I, I really think she just has, like, sleep apnea or something. Or, like, she sleepwalks and is watching me pick up stuff at, at night. Alright, well... Just a minute, Chibo. Being so tiny must make things awfully hard for you. Let me give you a hand. That's really nice, thank you. Here you go, Chibo. I know you're small, but do your best. I like how the mom and dad just, like, lift you up there. It saves a decent amount of time. Well, how'd it go? What'd she say? <laughs> she gave me a brand new car! <laughs> she made me this waste paper. You need to start picking up after yourself. Huh? That's not going to tell me anything. <laughs> hey, is that what I think it is? It is, isn't it? A love letter? Say it is. Thanks, little buddy. Dad just gave you 26 happy points. Spread the happiness. Ahem, I really love this music. I think I'll read this love letter out loud. Dear dysfunctional family, oh boy, this is gonna be good. Tao tracks mud all over the house. Yes, it's true, Tao. Jenny thinks she's a frog. And the man of the house isn't man enough to find another job. That's oh, savage. Well, I've had enough. I'm sorry, but you've pushed me to the edge. The only option I've got left is divorce. Huh? Divorce? No! I've got no time to lose. I've got to cook, clean the house, and fix stuff. I have to win her back. Let's go, Jenny. Come on, Tao. Ribbit. <laughs> okay, I know that's a really serious scene and all that, but the image of all of them sliding down the staircase railing is just amazing. And yeah, you can see the story's getting a little intense now. <laughs> but props to the dad for being like, oh crap, like, this is actually really serious. I've, I've, I have to, I've got to change. Good on you, dad. I still think that the mom is being immature for locking herself in the room. But who knows? I, I mean, the dad is also being very immature as well. Hey, 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 sweetie, let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> I see you've delivered my letter. I think you deserve a reward for being just the smartest little robot ever. I saw you pick out the waste paper, though. Mom just gave you 120 happy points. You got 430 mo- Okay, she's like, my husband spends money so irresponsibly. She's giving all this money to us! What the heck? Spread the happiness. I never thought boycotting all the housework would be this boring. Well, yeah, if you got nothing to do, then you got nothing to do. Especially since you're trapped in this room. Or not trapped, but you've chosen to trap yourself in this room. How are you going to eat? How are you going to use the bathroom? How, how are anybody going to use the bathroom? They don't have a bathroom in the house. Maybe, okay, one thing I'm wondering, maybe like 300 moolah is the equivalent of like $3? Or like 30 cents? I don't really know. Because I think it's supposed to be yen, but they changed it to moolah for the, like, the English version. I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Wait, I know. I haven't sewn for ages. I think I'll get the old sewing kit out for a change. Since you've been working so hard and have been such a good bot, I'll make something nice and cozy just for you. Just give me a little time, okay? Oh, yes! 
We can actually get a new costume this way, and it's great. This is actually one of the best costumes you can get for a variety of reasons, or for one main reason. Hmm? I wanted to make you something, but there aren't any old clothes. I can't make anything without any material. What should I do? I'll hunt around for a bit for something, so just wait a little longer. But make sure you tell me if you find anything we can use, Chibo. So here's where we can go around and find... Uh, I'll do this. This is where we can go around and there are now, after talking to her, there are now three pieces of old clothing you can find in the bedroom. There's a pair of old boxers, there's like a handkerchief, and like a fancy scarf. And depending on which one you give her, the costume that you get will look different. Personally, as, as gross as it is, I think the old boxers actually make the best looking of the clothes. And it's also conveniently the easiest one to get. So here. So the old boxers are just under the bed. The small handkerchief, which is basically just like a little white thing, is on the bed. And then uh, the fancy scarf is somewhere. It's probably like behind me. Oh, outdated scarf, sorry. That's really high up, and you need the bedroom bridge to get that. So the scarf will make your clothes pink, the handkerchief will make them white, and the boxers will make them blue. I think blue is the best color, so I'm gonna get these. Even though it's really gross making a new costume out of old boxers. These are also definitely the dad's boxers. And if you pick up all free clothes, you can't mix them together. You literally just have to give her one and whichever ones you... Whichever ones you don't give her, if you haven't picked them up, they'll just disappear. And if you haven't picked them up, they'll disappear from your inventory as well. So, we don't even have to bother hunting for all those. Did you find any old fabric, Chibo? Again, completely your own preference which ones you want. I personally think these make the best looking in the costume. I hope those were washed. Because I'm not walking around in smelly underwear. Oh, that'll work nicely. But you know, I'm pretty sure there are three pieces of old cloth around here. Is this material alright with you? Yeah. Let's get your measurements. I love the French music. You know, Chibo, for a little fellow, you sure are a hard worker. If only my lazy husband had some of your get up and go. I mean, your husband just got up and went to go do all the chores and cook the meals and stuff. So, I mean, I think he's doing pretty well. I do agree he needs to find a new job, though. Even if it's not in his prefer preferential field, a job, any job pretty much is better than no job. Let's see how long, or I wonder how long this will drag on. Oh, let's forget about that for now. Why don't we get you all measured up? Turn around and raise your arms. This is so cute. Oh, how adorable. Don't move. That's all right, stay still. Your height and shoulder width far. You're a small one, aren't you? I bet it's hard to find your size at the store. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to the Barbie section, and even then, Barbie has a ridiculous, like, impossible figure, so... Often... <laughs> it reminds me of the Stuart Little scene where they're shopping for Stuart Little's clothes, and he has to buy Ben clothes, aka Ken. It's fantastic. <laughs> Gladiator Ben. <laughs> I can't imagine trying to shop for chibi pants. <laughs> Alright, the rest is a surprise. Just you wait and see. I think it'll be done by tomorrow, so go play with Papa for the time being, okay? I love they never refer to each other, but well, I actually don't like how they never refer to each other by their own name. It's like the Calvin and Hobbes parents. They just refer to each other as like, Mom, Dad, Papa, or Jenny's Dad, Jenny's Mom. <laughs> Just a minute, Chibo. Yes, please take me out of here. Being so tiny must make things awfully hard for you. Let me give you a hand. Yeah, the boxers, you literally just go under the bed and pick them up. For the handkerchief, you have to climb up to where Funky Phil is and then chibi copter over to the shelves and then to the bed. And then the outdated scarf, you actually need to build the Utilibot bridge for there. Sir, sir, we have a problem. Report!
Some men have gone AWOL! I forgot, yeah. This happens once you've, uh, completed all the training. WHAT?! How could this be?! We're only seeing the scene now because finally there's nobody in this room. Maybe it's all my fault! Sure, I was tough on him, but it was only because I didn't want to lose any more men! But all that did was make me lose him faster! Bunker Busters, what have I done? I'm a disgrace! A soft-boiled, undercooked disgrace! I'm not fit to be a fried egg sandwich! Troops dismissed! You're a disgrace to the name of Free Ranger! And I'm not worthy to lead you! Oh. Because they were talking about just upping and leaving because Sarge was so tough on him. It's hard to blame him. And yeah, as you may have seen, um, I, it was seven soldiers left. Four of them became pirates. One of them became an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> the Elvis impersonator will eventually be over here. And two of them became space pilots. I, I wonder what that could mean. Tisk, tisk, you shouldn't be slacking off. Oh, but Sorry, I don't mean to rush you. You have a lot on your plate right now. Oh! So how about this? Hey, check it out! After building my own microphone, I also made this snazzy suit. Goodbye. I just gave you 21 happy points. Spread the happiness. You go, Telly. <laughs> Follow your dream with a Tinkerbell necklace. That one was for you, Marty. <laughs> More spider words. I fought you guys up. Fought you guys upstairs just a little bit ago. Man. There we go. Ah, that's a lot of scrap. I like this. <laughs> What's going on? Is there something I can do to help? Private Tuscan reporting for duty. Tucson. <laughs> Tucson. Why? Why did I say that? Hey, that's. <laughs> hey, wait, is it that gunpowder? <laughs> no, they, they're looking for the dog tags, actually. No! It can't be! Those are Memphis's dog tags! You infiltrated the Great Hairy Monster's Lair? Uh, yeah, I did find these in Tao's doghouse. They're so impressed. Pipe down! What's going on here? Private Chibi Rubble infiltrated the beast's lair and brought back Memphis's dog tags. What a bunch of hogwash! Thank goodness he's not a real egg. Are they like rubber? Let me see him! <laughs> you idiots, that's a feat of waste paper! Memphis! I'm so sorry! I couldn't save you! I let you down! Forgive me, Memphis! We will never defeat the great hairy beast alone. We gotta pull together, men! You're free rangers! You're hard-boiled! You guys are the best! We owe a lot to Memphis! Because of him, the Three Rangers will come back stronger than ever! Hold up for a second! What if Memphis is still alive? We gotta get cracking and resume our training! Alright, we're a 
advancing all sorts of plots. So you survived an operation into Tao's lair? For a scrawny house cleaning robot, you've got a lot of guts! Bolts, too! You showed a lot of courage out there! That's why I'm asking you to do me a favor! Help instruct our anti-Tao training! Heck yes. With you on our side, we'll have some serious manpower! Er, I mean robo-power! Here, put this on! I just happen to have this on hand. It's the Tao suit. Hmm. Well, slap me with a battleship! We can dress up as Tao now. You're even more hideous than the real Tao! The other boys will crack when they see you! Then we're heading into the backyard! Oh wait, I'm low on energy. This isn't good. Listen carefully, everyone! We're going to start our Tau training! This training will help us withstand Tau's ferocious bark! Ferocious? Fearsome bark! <laughs> Private Chibi Robo, in this exercise, you will play the role of Tau! Press Z to bark and scare all of the soldiers! When your battery's below 31, you won't be able to bark, and you will fail! Do you understand? Do not waste your barks! Use them only when several soldiers are together! Do you need to hear that again? Then let's begin! Please tell me they refilled all my energy. They did, cool. That was bad. And they're actually shooting at us. Oh, come on, I forgot both of them. All army soldiers KO'd! Tau training cleared! If you're having a hard time with that, wait until you get a larger battery. And we're back to the foyer. I'm so happy we get the Tau suit now. The Tau suit is great. Thanks to you, my men are ready for the worst! They're prepared to face the great furry evil! Sarge just gave you 66 happy points. The Free Rangers just gave you 66 happy points. Spread the happiness. Alright, the time for training is over! We gotta come up with a plan to save Memphis! Once we've drawn up the battle plan, we'll be ready to take on the Great Harry Fred. We'll need you when the time comes! It's time we take the fight to the enemy! Help us take down the tyrannical Tau! We're gonna have to wait a little bit on that one, though. It takes a while for them to drop the plans. But now we have the Tau suit! And let me tell you what, talking to people with the Tau suit on is hilarious. Anyhow, it's time to go back to the living room and see what the dad and Jenny are up to. Time to water the backyard! Well, it's a good thing we did the Tau training now before the dad was started watering the backyard. Well, good on you, dad. Also, look at Jenny's new drawing. It's the mom big and angry and the dad small and crying. That's... that's sad. Hey, Jenny. Yay, Chibi! Mom and dad are always angry and stuff, and now dad's sleeping on the couch. I mean, he's been sleeping on the couch ever since we, I got bought. Even my bare sunshine left me, so now I'm all alone. Oh, no! But you and I are gonna be friends, right? Heck yes, Jenny. Say, um, it looks like you have something there. Can I have it? Yeah, I've got some frog rings for you. I got three of them. Thank you very much. Jenny just gave you 99 happy points. You got 150 moolah. Spread the happiness. If you collect three more, something good will happen. Yay, Chibi. Is this the same thing? Yeah. Check it out, Jenny. I'm Tao. Ribbit. 
All right, let's head out to the backyard. Yeah, this is the part of the game where the door actually is open now. So we can go out into the backyard with, even, even if you haven't broken the window. But again, there's no penalty for breaking the window, so why would you not do it? Where are you? Oh, oh, Tao's here. If you try talking to Tao with the Tao suit on. If you find the dog bone, bring it to me! Hey, check out that outfit! You're copying my look! Huh? Wait a second. Can you? Can you understand me? Yep. Wow, for real? That's amazing! This is so cool! Tao just gave me six happy points. He's not that happy. Tao has money? <laughs> Dang, Tao. Probably only three cents. No offense, but I don't think of you as part of this family. Alright, well, you know, whatever. Yeah, with the Tao suit, we can talk to Tao, and not only that, with the Tao suit, we can talk to any animal, except, I think, frogs. I don't remember this crater being here. Aren't you the neat freak, Chibi Robo? I won't be using that toothbrush ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you got 10 happy points! <laughs> you get $10 for stealing dad's toothbrush. Alright then. I'm gonna do my best with the chores until Jenny's mom is in a better mood. Wait, hang on a second. Are you just doing this to get her on your good side and as soon as she's back you're gonna stop doing the chores? That better not be the case, dude. <laughs> the family's gotta work together now to make her happy. I'm counting on you, Chibi Robo. No, this should be your wake-up call that you haven't been doing your job. Dad is just watering, like, one part of the lawn over and over again. Oh, there's a dog bone over here. There we go. It's a dog bone! Sweet. Yeah, now dog bones will start randomly spawning. Chibi Robo! If you stand there, you'll get all wet. And that's dangerous business for a robot. So stand back! All right, sorry, bro. Hey, Tao, I got a bone for you. <gasps> I love how I love the way Tao sounds when he actually talks. It's gonna be me, Ah, something smells good. Is that for me? That's the spirit. Yeah! Happy Tao is great. Tao just gave you nine happy points. I need a 25 bucks. Spread the happiness. Thanks, Chibi Robo! Now he's eating that instead. Hey, Sophie. Oh, come on, Tao. We also now only have one piece of chibi equipment to get. We also now only have two suits left to get. And one of them is the thing that the mom is making us right now. So we actually almost have all the equipment. Let's see what's happening in the kitchen, shall we? Actually, before we do that, we got enough scrap to make a new utility. Chibi Robo! There's a new product available for the online store! Let's see here! Ah, there! It's some new chibi gear! They call it Chibi Radar! 
Ooh, if one of those, you'd be able to find things not visible to the naked eye. You have to buy it and see if it's true. It's actually not true, it's just a scam. All right, well, cool, I'll do that. Chirita, yes please. I will not buy the space scramble yet, though. It's the final piece of chibi equipment, chibi radar. You've upgraded! Keep it up, Chibi Rumblehead! Let's go! But Telly's not even apologizing for making those anymore. Cyclotron, let's build the kitchen bridge. Chibi Robo, put your scrap into the Recyclotron! It's a Utobot! I'll set it up out in the kitchen! Okay, I would love for them to make another Chibi Robo game like this one. Where you explore a house and there's like a good story and cool characters and good side quests. And please make it so you can actually buy a car and drive it around the house. That would be fantastic. Uh, hi. Ahoy there, me harveys. Really? More spiders. Okay, I swear these spiders are more annoying to kill than they were in my previous ones, uh, previous playthrough of this game. I could be wrong, though. If I'm correct, I believe there will be someone over here. Nope, never mind. Maybe they only appear on a future uh, day or night. Oh, we should check out the cheeky radar if we press A with it. So it'll start draining power a lot faster, but it'll also aim you in a direction so you can see it's pointing this way, and up, that means there's something hidden in there. More on that later. Anyhow, we have the kitchen bridge now. And it can reach a bit farther than the living room bridge. Money, money, money. <laughs> Alright, how many? Oh, I still have three chibi doors left in here. Oh. There's actually remarkably little the kitchen bridge unlocks for you. However, we can now reach the kitchen table anytime we want to. Really fast. I do have a chibi battery, but still. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. I, I thought I thought I would just fall right on the table. So yeah, that gave us 20 extra battery. And now, if we want another, if we want another one of those, we're gonna have to buy another one of those. Well, at least I got to show off what the Chibi battery does. Uh, <laughs> I think that's my main problem. I'm like, I've got enough energy to do that, and I totally do. 
You're fully in charge! Are you going to say it? Not, <laughs> to quote Ace Windu, not yet. Oh, it just occurred to me. I think I still have funky sweat in here, yeah. I kind of want the water. What the heck are you doing in the fish tank? I was going to feed the fish. What are you doing in the fish tank? My eyes in the bear, none of the water enters them, and I cannot stand it. Oh, I'm sorry, Brett, but uh, you could just get out of the water. He's like, aren't you going to help me? No. <laughs> you can help yourself. Okay. I bet if I pushed it a little farther. Also, if I use the GB copter, I could also get here. Who's been eating Jolly Ranchers? Because I want some. Even as an adult, Jolly Ranchers are candy that I don't like as much as I like as a kid, but I still enjoy them every once in a while. But I can only eat like a couple of them. So this guy's a pirate, he's just hanging out here. I'm Cincy, I want to be a pirate! What? Captain Plankbeard is recruiting? Thanks for letting me know! Since he just gave you 26 happy points, spread the happiness. Yeah, so now for the four free rangers who became pirates are hanging out in random spots throughout the house. You have to find them, reach them, and talk to them in order for them to join Captain Plank and his crew. Now, we should have, like, just enough time left in the day to hopefully find the hidden thing that the radar was pointing to. Alright, it's pointing up there. I thought I could climb up the toaster. I thought I could climb up the toaster. Oh no, I can't. Oh, actually, we might not have enough time. Yeah, I bet we're gonna have just not enough time. Yeah, so it's pointing at this wall. What we do is we pull out the Chibi Blaster. I saw the outline of a Chibi door. If we do a charge shot, it'll appear. And you actually don't need the Chibi Radar to get these, but you basically need them to find them. Otherwise, we'll just be shooting random walls. And these tend to have a lot of money. All right, we had like just enough time left in the day to do that. So there are a couple of those lying around the house. So I believe there's the last one is in, I believe the last chibi door in the living room we have to get is one of these. And there's like a few in the basement, I think, that are there. You know, it's, I actually kind of like that. It gives the radar at least a bit of a purpose because the radar is not all that useful, all things considered. It's just kind of mad. Oh, there's a chibi door there. I'll have to remember that. Not have time to get that today, but. It also occurs to me that we barely explored Jenny's room. Nope. If there's no, like, waves coming off the radar after you use it, that means there's nothing hidden in the room. Chibi Robo, do you need some quiet time with good old television? Oh! Back to the Chibi house. Great work out there! Your chibi ranking is still A. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 187 more happy points. Let's go! Oh, you're here, Chibi Robo. Would you like to save? Sure. That's it for this episode of Chibi Robo, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. <laughs> now it's night. And we should be able to do more with some of the toys. And we might end up exploring Jenny's room a whole lot more. Because we've honestly barely even touched Jenny's room at this point. So that might be something for us to do. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.